Good morning. I have a really fun, kind of a different recipe for you this morning. I think the whole family will love. If you like Mexican food, Southwestern food, I think you're going to love this. It's a Southwest chicken skillet, and I'm always looking for meals that you can, you know, do in one pan, make cleanup easy, and this is perfect. It's got lots of flavor, too. So we're starting out with four boneless, skinless chicken breasts, or if your family is bigger, you could do six, eight, double the recipe, or you could even, you know, just do two. And I've got a, a mix of spices here. I'm going to quick grab a little bowl to mix those uh, up with. I've got garlic salt, cumin, which is that great smoky southwestern flavor, and a little bit of chili powder. And this is going to be the rub that's going to go on those chicken breasts. So just mix up the cumin, the, the garlic salt, and a little bit of chili powder. It's going to give ordinary chicken breasts just a whole lot of flavor. So just kind of sprinkle that generously on your chicken, both sides. Get it into a hot skillet. And we're gonna do everything, like I said, in just one pan. So nobody wants to be doing a lot of dishes. So we're gonna brown that up. Put some more oil and some more seasoning on the the other side of those chicken breasts and let them cook in that hot skillet until the juices run clear. Eight to 15 minutes, something like that. And here's where we are now. These look absolutely perfect. Don't they look good in your kitchen? Wow, what do you see how your kitchen smells? Now at this point, we're gonna add a little bit of chicken broth. Just some salsa right down over the top. You can put some in the sauce here. Store-bought or homemade or go to the deli of your grocery store. They make a great salsa. Hot, medium, mild, however you like yours, basically. Now we're going to take, just for fun, some corn fresh corn off the cob or just frozen corn that's thawed out. And I love, you don't have to add this, but I love the idea of some pinto beans or some kidney beans in here. Just kind of bulk it up. If you don't like beans, though, go ahead and leave it out. That'll just make it more of a meal, you know. Don't really need a side, although this would be great with rice. And the last thing we're going to add, some shredded Mexican blend, or you could do cheddar or some wonderful Mexican cheese. And we'll cover that just for a second so that cheese will start to melt. So good. All those flavors combined. And you can, I mean, make that in just minutes. See how quick that took? Didn't take long at all. All right. Now, cheese is starting to melt. Let me give these a quick flip. All right. Look at this. Mmm. That cheese could melt even a little more if you had the time. Looks pretty good to me. I'll plate it up here. I think I'll use a spoon. And like all Mexican food, I like to have some fun garnish. Get some of that sauce. So we're going to have some fun things to kind of dress this meal up, although it looks pretty great right here. And this is a meal in itself, but like I said, if you wanted to serve it with some Spanish rice or just white rice, it would be great to soak up that sauce. Now, let me show you how we're going to finish this dish off. Wiping the plate, make it all look pretty. And I just have some fun, fun things that you can do or you don't have to. I've got a little bit of black olives, which I happen to love on my nachos, so I thought it would be great here. Some sour cream, which I totally love with Mexican food, kind of cooling with that nice spice. Throw a few more olives there. And then uh, some scallions, and maybe a little bit of fresh cilantro. How easy is that? A southwestern chicken skillet 
couldn't be easier. And just something dinner, something different rather for dinner.